Greetings everyone. In today's video, we will quickly learn how you can access all your website files using FTP. Let's get started. For more WordPress content, please subscribe to our channel and press the bell icon. Now, at times, your host does not offer cPanel, or if you are freelancing, then your client may only provide the FTP details. We will learn to use them. The FTP details look like this. The username, server, port number, and password. Using this information, you can access all your website files. But to do so, we need FTP software. There are lots of FTP software, but here we will use FileZilla. Let's download FileZilla. Simply search FileZilla. This is the software, and you can download the FileZilla client. Click on it and download FileZilla. Click on Download. So the download has been completed. Show in folder. Let me install it. Double click on it. I agree. Next. Next. Next and install. I will close this all. So it is installed. I will untick this for now and finish. So we have installed FileZilla. To open the software on the Start menu, simply search FileZilla and you will see the application. Let me open it. So this is the FileZilla application. It is very simple to use. Host basically is the server name. Let me copy it. This is the username. The password and the port is 21. And click on Quick Connect. This warning is for the unknown certificate. Simply click on OK. You can see what is happening here. So here are all our website files and folders. Here is the WP Content folder. It has all themes and plugins. To download any files, simply right-click Download. If you want to upload any files, you can simply drag the file here. For instance, let me create a text file and try to upload it here. You can simply drag wherever you need to. Here you can see the details. So you can see the file has been transferred. So if you want to upload new themes or plugins, then you can simply go to the WP Content folder and upload it as required. So with FTP, you can access all your website files and folders. You can also change the file permission. Right click and go to File Permissions and change the permission value as required. So this is how you can use FTP to access all the website files. Thank you very much.